That video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Hello and welcome to my channel. So that's Didi giving us something to talk about yet again. Only God knows if he's genuinely remorseful or if he's just sorry that the footage leaked. So let's just see what people think of that apology. Himself captioned, I'm truly sorry. Every choice has a consequence. I hope men will learn from this. He's only sorry he got caught. He denied this in the beginning, so his words are worthless. Just sorry he got caught. You're sorry you got caught. The man is posting an apology, and here come people to tear that down. We are not God, so let's not judge. If half the stuff some of you did was put out to the world on video, then some would be totally quiet. She stayed with him for years after the video, so she must have forgiven him. Those who leaked the video were not good. It was malicious. Let's all heal and move on. That's surprising. That's obviously somebody who is extending grace. Another one says, we love you, Didi. Everyone makes mistakes. I don't know much, and I don't care too much. It's beyond my tax bracket. But in real life, to many people, he... He who is without sin cast the first stone. That's extend that one is extending grace. You don't owe anyone any explanation. You're acting like saints. Your family, your life, I stand with you. Another one says he's full of C R A P. Another one said it is disturbing and inhumane what did he did to Cassie, but who are we to judge him? Diddy claimed to be a changed man promoting love a few years ago. It's unfortunate that his past has come back to haunt him, even as a changed man. But you can't tell he's changed for sure. I'm just saying we are not God to persecute people. Let's normalize praying for people instead of tearing them down. Praying for him and praying for Cassie. Praying for healing for all parties. The world needs so much prayers right now. I got goosebumps. Another one said, that man is so stressed. God forgives. We shouldn't pass judgment. Only God can forgive. And only now do you realize your mistake? It's too late, brother. If I understand correctly, you had to first have everything collapse around you before you realize that you're sorry. Is Cassie not crazy anymore? You're funny. Everybody makes mistakes. You don't need our forgiveness. You need Cassie's and God's. Trust me, they're still going to buy your music like everybody else's that do stuff and we forgive them. Bad boy is just what it is.
not taking away from the soundtrack that saved a lot of our lives. Surprisingly, a lot of people have extended grace to him. Repent, ask for forgiveness from God. Acts chapter 2 verse 38, and Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Bro, we are all filthy rugs. There are no degrees of sin. I love you. That's why I'm praying for you. God is the greatest God and is a redeemer. Only what we do for God will last. Well, that's surprising. So it seems like uh, he's been trying to redeem himself because he's been posting his uh, last one of late. Then he jokingly posted. I want to see why you hate on me, nigga. Don't understand. Show love, nigga. It don't oh. show nothing. It don't cost nothing to show a nigga. Love, I was doing nigga. this game, money. Show a nigga some love, nigga. Wabbledy dabbledy. Niggas out here don't love me, nigga. So it seems like he was trying to make a comeback last week by posting that hilarious clip. And on Mother's Day, he posted his mother and uh, his four baby mamas. Baby mamas post. Some people asked whether he smacks her around. Another one said she should take that child and run. Another one inquired whether he drags her across the floor like he did Cassie. And he posted this uh, picture of him and his kids. I think they're on vacation somewhere. So then he posted this cryptic message, times tell the truth. And then the next day that footage of him assaulting Cassie got leaked, which prompted him to now post this uh, apology, which only God knows if it's genuine or whether it's just a PR stunt. But his nemesis, 50 Cent obviously thinks it's a big mistake because he didn't waste any time to repost it on his uh, IG and stated that he's making a big mistake. A person who has been associated with Didi, that is uh, T.D. Jakes, has had to address this issue indirectly. requests that came in over uh, social media that I happened to just happened just to see as I was coming to church and the woman said to me would you please pray for women who are living in danger in their own house And there was something about the way she said it, and I know she's watching right now. Uh, th there was something about the way she said it. It was a cry for help. And I realized something when I read what she said as a father and as a husband and as a son and a mama's boy at that. When I saw the images that have been floating all over the news all week, it became difficult to watch the atrocious, degrading, demeaning, debauchery. I, I, I know who it was, but I saw my daughters. As a man, I saw my, my daughters and it made me angry. It made me angry. And I thought if, if it affected me like that as a man, how much more is that that image a trigger for women who have been through that who are currently going through that who are in the middle of that who feel trapped in situations where you are being physically and emotionally and verbally abused and it is possible to feel trapped and have a key to the door and still feel trapped in a situation you can't get out of and and it and it has domestic violence has no particular color age or face it can be sitting beside you today you can be churched you can be unchurched you can be educated you can be rich you can be poor 
But let me tell you something before we pray. If, and it's not always the man. Let me tell you a couple of things before we pray. Both for the victims and the perpetrator. There's something you need to understand. If you got a rage you can't control. If you have an emotional problem, a mental health issue, where you're bipolar, and your kids get scared when they hear your car coming home, you got to get some help, dude. You got to get some help. You got to you got to come out of denial and get some help. TD Jakes was tactfully trying to distance himself from Diddy. If you're wondering why, it's because he's been. Uh, seen many times in the company of Diddy. Comedian Little Duval couldn't help himself but make fun of Diddy's apology. He just reposted that uh, video Diddy has done and captioned, why does Diddy look like he's in Bali with Russell? I hadn't noticed that until I read that caption because you can see the roofing it's kind of uh, thatch, which looks like uh, the resort that uh, Russell Wilson operates from. Anyway, time will tell. That doesn't look like he's in America. Anyway, time will tell. Maybe he's decided to go on exile like Russell Simmons to avoid any prosecution. So just let me know what you know and what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Like and share this video. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.